So earlier today, um, House of the Dragon, The Boys, uh, House of the Dragon season two, The Boys season four, and Fallout season, well, the first season of Fallout season. is um, is uh, basically out. And you saw the trailer. What do you think about the trailer overall? Yeah, I, I said it was okay-ish. I wasn't impressed by it, especially the design of the different uh, monsters in the game. It looks... It looks too CGI, in my opinion. Like it looks too, to the point that it's cartoony, and hmm. it doesn't help. I I haven't read the article or the take that said it's confirmed that it, they're gonna go woke, but yeah, that's not helping things. It's not. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for Fallout. Uh, yeah, it's like okay. uh, even, uh, I, yeah, it's like it's. That's the thing. It's like if if your company's being run by a woke activist, they don't care. They don't care if if a show does good or not. All they all they care about is um if they send the message or not, or how hard they want to send the message. That's all that matters. And, and if the message was sent and everyone hates it, they're gonna blame the fans. Always, mm -hmm. like clockwork. You know, sort of like uh master the TDS is uh <laughs> is bingo card. You know. Yeah. You know. Man, man, uh, guys didn't show up to the movie, bigots or whatever. It, that, that's just how it is. But let's talk, talk about this article over here. Uh, this is from the Fandom Wire. Will Amazon's Fallout TV show remain faithful to the games? Just how close to the source material will Fallout TV show follow? Now, based off of what I saw, the CGI is, of course, is heav heavily CGI'd, of course. Some of the mech armor suits, I'm not sure what they're called. They look pretty, they look pretty good. Power for armor. Power thing. armor. You, you call power armor? Power okay. armor. It looks pretty good. I I I thought I thought it looks pretty decent. I never played any of the games. And Gray, you have, right? Okay. So you big big fan of the games? Yeah. I, I mean, I played three. I played New Vegas. I played four. So yeah, I can say I okay. Have. Okay. So yeah, I I definitely consider. It. So now, if it can, if now if a normie like me watches it and it's good, hopeful, ho and we all hope that this that this thing is good. Right? I know people are hopeful. Yeah, yeah. Right? That that should be interesting because like if. I'm pretty sure we're gonna cover it because so this is the only one that has a release date among the three, right? April twelfth. This, this oh one. yeah, the other one was um the boys was coming soon. We don't know. Yeah. Then um, a House of the Dragon is twenty twenty four. Summer. Summer. Yeah, summer twenty twenty four. Yeah. Yeah. So it'd be interesting to, when we talk about it because you you never played it and I played it. So like, what's what's your take on the entire show? Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I think it'd definitely be good. Yeah. Let's see. Um, Anonymous says, uh, Amazon is hit or miss. Reacher was good and not woke, at least season one. Yeah. I I, I hope that it's uh, it's good. New Vegas is the best. Is that true? Yeah. In terms of RPG, RP it's like the problem with 4 4 is like they went, they focused too much on the shooting element of it. It doesn't feel fun. And they, they really, really dumbed down the dialogue, which I, I am not a huge fan of. Hmm. They really dumbed down the dialogue. All right. Let's go ahead and read this article. See, all right, fans of the upcoming Fallout TV show will be delighted to see that several onset images have been released ahead of the series debut on April 12th, 2024. This leads to the question of whether the series will be uh, utilizing the game storylines as source material or whether it will have a completely new storyline written for the screen. Given the pedigree of the teams comprised of Jonathan L Nolan and Lisa Joy, creators of the highly successful Westworld. Here's the thing though. Westworld season one is a masterpiece. Season two, woke elements all over. Overall, meh, other than one episode. The Native American episode was god tier. I did not watch season two, uh, three. I did not watch season four. Which season does this person work on? Right? If they worked on the entire thing, Oh, it's like the first season could be really good and the later seasons suck. Like that's that's a scary thing, right? Yeah, but yeah, but already, right? They're admitting there's gonna be woke elements to it. So I, I think season one already it's gonna be festered with it. Okay. Buddha Cafe says send me a link on Discord. Oh, okay, I'll check it out after. All right, so let let's see. Let's see. However, with this a level of this excitement comes with certain level of ex uh, expectation, much like the fans of The Last of Us had for the series, which premiered this year. Now, now with look overall, I think the last The Last of Us was solid. So let's see, let's see if it continues, right? I think moving forward, if we can get good video game adaptations, those would be pretty nice. 
Let's see, what do we know? There may, may be a little detail available on the actual storyline of the time of writing, but Jonathan Nolan and Todd Howard spoke to Vanity Fair about the upcoming series. Uh, Nolan confirmed that it would uh, feature social and economic divisions, which features prominently in the game. That it uh, would also retain some of its morbid humor. Okay. That's, that's good, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. Howard went on to state that the that this was uh, no direct retelling of any specific games and that although there were several ideas pitched, he wanted to see more of a unique story told. So with this, we can expect some artistic license in terms of what the storyline may be given that it might, uh, sorry, that it won't be a direct adaptation of, of the specific game. So that's, this part is sort of scary. Yeah. Right? Not, no direct retelling. Right? That's, that part could be... Uh, changing shit up right uh yeah that, that's the thing because like the fallout stories they don't really they don't have that sticking factor where they can base it it's not like the witcher right it's just like netflix just the studio that uh ran that show to the ground simply just chose to disrespect the source material here there's not really a very strong foundation for them to take because fallout is basically um it really depends on the choices you make and the faction you chose, so that, which will alter how it goes down the story, which is not really... It doesn't leave a highly memorable impact. That I understand, but I'm concerned mm -hmm. that they, they're they going to deviate so much that they prioritize, yeah, the message. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah. All right, let's continue. As expected, the Amazon Prime show based on highly successful post-apocalyptic RPG game series features the famous blue and yellow vault suits, which can be seen from the latest onset pictures uh, adorning Ella Purnell and her character Lucy and Kyle McLaughlin. Oh, Kyle McLaughlin's pretty cool. I like him. All right, he was in uh, Showgirls with Elizabeth. Oh, he's a he's an overseer. Oh, yeah, you're her father, an, overseer Hank. He's an overseer. Okay, That's I do like Kyle McLaughlin because he was in uh, what's it called? He was also in uh, what's it called? <laughs> Sex in the City. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Those are very stupid it, shows. Sorry. It, Perhaps one of the most striking images released to Prime Video is that the Walton Goggins, who's confirmed to be playing a ghoul in the series, will, uh, while the uh, disturbing uh, look may remind him of a zombie, the damage to his skin and facial features comes from the exposure of radiation. I, I act, okay, I actually think that's too clean. It, it, in the games, it looks more hideous than that, but probably they're trying to keep it friendly to a broader audience. He, 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 yeah, he sort of reminds me of uh, Red Skull. Yeah, it, it looks too clean right. here. The, the, the ghost, it looks more uh, detailed, should I say, in the games. See, Anonymous says he was in Twin Peaks and Dune, which are the two things I did not watch, which I know that oh, people he's in Dune. Yeah, I need to watch he's Dune. He was in old Dune, o, the, o, the OG one, oh. I believe, right? Oh, okay, okay, not the new one. Okay, yeah. never mind. Yeah, the 80s Dune, yeah. I know, I know he was in that one TV show or movie where he deeps fry one of the guns, where he grabs a gun and he, he's like in a restaurant and he deeps fry. He deep puts it in the fryer, and he leaves. I forgot what. I, I that's the only scene I've watched from whatever that was what, one was, which was, which I really like, which is really cool. Fans of the Fallout games will know all about the ghoul characters as they have been featured prominently in the Fallout titles to date, and these mutated characters have been several variations throughout the various installments. However, it has been revealed that the Goggins character survives as a ruthless bounty hunter and hides something of a shady past. Favorite for many of the fans, no doubt, would be sight of the power armor. And looking at it, it does appear to be accurate in comparison to the Fallout games. That remains to be seen whether the armor will utilize the fusion core, which will deplete over time, staying completely loyal to the source material. As expected, mm. the reactions from fans on seeing these images have been one excitement, uh, one of excitement, and but many urge caution, stating that it can't just be style over substance. So we got a couple uh, quotes here. Though they look pretty game accurate. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say the fusion core that only applied in Fallout Four, though. In Fallout Three and New Vegas, you, you can walk around fine. You don't need to worry about. You don't need to worry about the battery of the power armor. Okay, I'm just, I'm just saying. All right. Let's see, but it can't just be able to look at. It has to be uh, have some substance. Looks good visually. If these are from the trailer, I haven't seen it, but. The style points to the costume and uh, set peeps. Uh, shots look good, and I love the practical power armor. I will remain cautiously optimistic. Yeah, these look pretty damn good. These look pretty good. What do you you you, you like how how they look? I there's something about it that like it's uh. Is it too clean. Yeah. 
it's too clean. It's like uh it's looking like a cartoon to me. Too cartoony. Same goes with the beast with different monsters. I can't put a finger to it. It's like it's it doesn't have the dark, gritty feel that I kinda more want in a post apocalyptic setting. In a mm-hmm. nuclear post apocalyptic setting setting. That's what I feel. Okay. However, as uh, with most of these uh, days, you can't please everyone, and many so-called fans are already denouncing the series being as being woke simply because it has a female lead. It's sad. Uh, it's a sad assessment of the Fallout TV show when there hasn't been any trailer released. Unfortunately, these so the trailer released today. So this is so this this I believe this article is uh like a day or two old. Yeah, it's it's, it's yeah. about it's about three days old. So three or four days old. So we'll see. Uh, let's see from the reaction to the uh, latest onset pictures, of the upcoming show. The majority of fans cannot wait to see it come to life on t- uh, on TV screens in April. So yeah. Um. So based off the trailer now, from what you saw, do you still think that it might be woke? If that is, okay, if that is literally the only argument for now that it's because the protagonist is female, uh, no, I I don't think so. If that if 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 that's the only argument they have now. But if there's other arguments that haven't been mentioned in that article, or if there will be more stuff in the future that'll reveal it, then if I'm just looking at this at face value, no, because Fallout is you can choose, you can customize your character at the start of the game. Are you? Are mm-hmm. you? <laughs> I don't know now if they release it, if if they're gonna do the pronouns thing again. Are do you want to be male or female? So I'm fine that they opted for female. It doesn't necessarily entail that it's woke right away. And there are plenty of strong female characters in uh not not the not the Disney kind. I mean the literally the good ones uh, in Fallout, in the Fallout universe. So it's fine. If that's the yeah. only reasoning, then maybe okay, that kind of boosted my sentiments. Maybe it's not gonna be so bad. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to it. Hope we I hope it's good. Because if yeah. it's good, we're gonna get more good shit coming out. Hope we don't get freaking uh, you know, tricked. You know the first season's really good, and the coming at every season coming after that sucks because that's what they did with Witcher. Mm-hmm. Like the first season, as as a person who never played the game before, like I watched the show first, but then I played the game after. Season I thought season one was good, right? Season one was pretty good. Season two got woke. I, did, I I'm not gonna bother with season three, and then well, Blood Origin is just gar- garbage. And yeah. Gray forced me to watch it, so I blame him. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.